are back with another episode of Shop Essence Live. I am Noni, Vice President of Branded Content and Video here at Essence. And we have another incredible, groundbreaking Black-owned business to shop tonight. Um, we are going to be joined with Siada Lash, who is the founder of The Puff Cuff. And they have, I interviewed them in 2019 when I tell you they have so many incredible products to get our natural hair together. I currently have one on right now. So I'm going to add her to this stream and we're going to shop these incredible pro products. I do see you. Let's go live. Hey girl, hey. And remember, this is live. So if you have any questions, please do put it in the chat. Hello, beautiful. Hello, how are you? I am amazing. How are you doing? Girl, I'm, I'm here. I'm standing. I'm right. Like, you know what? I'm on this side of the ground. So it's a blessing. So good. So you guys have been up to quite a bit over the past few years. Um, I was just going through your long list of products of what you offer now. Um, and it's just so incredible. So I want to get into your story. It is so inspiring and how you created this incredible product. Uh, and then we'll, we'll start to get into demoing them. All right, Stephanie. So what happened was <laughs> back in 2003, you know, early 2000s, I decided to stop chemically straightening my hair. It wasn't because I was having an awakening experience or discovering myself or anything like that. I literally had just been, go I went longer between touch-ups and I was like a four to six week relaxer girl. And when I went longer and it literally, it was because I couldn't get in the chair, not because I had made this decision to go longer between touch-ups. Oh, you couldn't get an appointment. <laughs> I couldn't get in an appointment. Right, couldn't get in. Okay. So I went longer between touch-ups, was like, I didn't feel like doing it myself, but I'm so glad I didn't because what happened was all the dandruff and psoriasis and mm. dermatitis and all that in eczema, all that in my scalp and hair just went away. Like, wow. just, and I realized my body said, you know what? I've been waiting for you to stop. So please don't go back to putting those chemicals on your body. And then just like a hemat, I had been suffering from fibroids also. I mm -hmm. do been preaching this for years that there is a connection between all the chemicals that black women have been seduced to putting on their bodies and you know cancer fibroids all of that there is some type of connection there but anyway yeah a whole nother podcast or a whole nother mm -hmm. so um at that point i just decided i would never go back to chemically straightening my hair but this was before the google before beautiful influencers like you before the natural hair movement, all of that stuff. And I didn't know what to do with the hair growing out of my head. You know, my, 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 the senior members, my mother, grandmother, mm -hmm. all of them, all of us had known straight hair. Right. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know what I'm going to, what's going to grow out of my scalp. Don't know if I'm going to like myself, all the mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. So I decided that the way that I, could feel comfortable in my own, mm -hmm. own skin was to put my hair up in a single puff, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was literally one of those people who was, I didn't do the pantyhose. I tried the elastic band and you know how you wrap it around your neck so many times and try to bring it up. Yeah. Like, that's right in the middle <laughs> of the day or whatever. Yeah. So my go-to was a shoestring. I would get a <laughs> I did the shoestring yeah. too. That was my go-to. <laughs> And you, you pull it up. And mm -hmm. what happened was at that time we were living in Chicago and I had a hour commute both ways. Mm -hmm. Time the end of the day came, I would have a blazing head. Hey. Yeah, I knew you were going to. Right, blazing. And oh, yeah. Some kind of wife, mother to twins, hour oh, commute. Wow. Try to, you know, some type of human that was not like just ugly and hangry acting by the time. I got home and I'm like, this is ridiculous that I have to suffer mm -hmm. in order to style my hair. Yeah. Also with pulling what people don't realize with pulling that hair up with something else, those edges are precious edges. Are Very precious, precious and fragile. Like. Fragile. Mm -hmm. I was steadily thinning. Mm -hmm. I would take my hair up. So I was like, you know what? Got to be a better way. They yeah. could not find anything. So I had 
the concept in my head of a clip that most of you guys probably have already seen. It's, I think it's called a pony comb in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. But Goody made a clip that was like about this big. I remember that, the little banana thing. Right. Well, not the banana thing. This was actually round. The banana thing is kind of like it, but the banana clip uh -huh. is shaped like a banana. Got it. Got it. Okay. Actually round, but it had teeth like all the way through and it was tortoiseshell. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this. So mm -hmm. I, thought, I could come up with something like that, but on a much larger scale, but didn't have the teeth going all the way through. So it wouldn't try to penetrate my hair, but it would just hold my hair in place. Right. It would make sense that it would work. So to fast forward the story, at that time, when I came up with the idea, and I'll be, I'll be 100% transparent, which my husband says sometimes I'm a little too transparent. No, it's safe space with us. And right. <laughs> give us the thing. <laughs> it took me, it took me almost seven, six, seven years to actually get enough gumption, what the folks used to say. Mm to decide that, you know what, I could possibly bring this thing to market. Yeah. I, would, I figure I ain't got no money, which none of us have any money. Let's just, you know, majority of us don't have any money. I was like, I have no money. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm smart enough. I don't know if I have the connections. All the above of talking myself out of it. But when I would go to like Walmart, Walgreens or whatever, I'd look down the hair aisle and be like, somebody's got to figure this out. And it was never anything there. And I would look when Alibaba was just like Aliba, you know, this is, <laughs> right. early, this is before the Google was it what it is. I just couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. And if I had found it, I probably would have been pissed because, you know, I had the idea. Right, right, of course. <laughs> it never, no one brought it to market. So I was like, okay, God, I know you've given this to me. And at that time, when I decided to do it, we had two very, very, very significant um happenings in my family. One was I was charged with taking care of my 99 year old grandmother in her last days because she had mm. been um, diagnosed with congestive heart failure. And then also we had been on the list to adopt our third child, which I'm a, I am a total advocate of African American families adopting children. Mm. A dream of ours, but it just so happened that these two, these two, um, places and time co coincided. Yeah. So I did, my husband and I, not I, my husband and I decided that, you know, bringing my grandmother into my home, into our home was going to be a serious undertaking and that maybe we should take our names off the, off the adoption list until we got through that season. Mm. God had different plans. I had arranged for my grandmother to come live with me moving from Indianapolis to Chicago on like a, a Sunday, like the following Sunday. And then I, that Monday prior, I got a call from my adoption counselor from her personal cell phone. And mm. I'm, uh-oh, I bet you we just got chosen. And I remember because I was at Kohl's buying bedding for my grandmother's new room for her before she arrived. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, like, my adoption co counselor was like, when I answered, she's like, you just got chosen. So not only did we get my grandmother, I got a new baby that same weekend. So I went from Monday to you're going to be a new, your, you and your husband are going to be new parents. We need you to come meet the baby on Tuesday, meet the birth mother on Wednesday. You're going to take the baby home on Friday and you're going to get your grandmother on Sunday. Oh, <laughs> literally. It was like a lot. A lot, but the Lord does not ask you what you can handle. He just gives it to you because he knows you're stronger than what you think. And mm -hmm. after that, I was like, you've given me this idea. I do not want to waste it. And I don't want to regret not doing anything with the gift that you've given me. Yeah. That's where the idea came from. I know that was the long of it, but that's <laughs> I mean, if there's anything that puts the urgency under you, right? And and I think that that's even, even that in itself is so inspiring. You had this idea and, and maybe you didn't have everything right in front of you right at that moment to make it happen, but it was something that just kept calling you. And I think there might be a lot of people that are watching right now that have had an idea in their head for years, um, 
and it just keeps calling at them mm -hmm. and you might be watching this right now for a reason mm -hmm. this is a message for you i do want to i do want to get into all these products yes so that you I see people trying to put stuff in their cart <laughs> i think something sold out already <laughs> so i would love if we can what what would you like to showcase first okay so let's do the puff cuff first so all right we have the original puff cuff so you are you're holding the junior and i'm holding okay. the original so the biggest one and which was the flagship product, there you go, was the original. So the original is five inches. And the way that you use it is you gather your hair first. Always gather your hair first. Do not use the puff cuff to gather your hair because it's not a banana clip. It's Very not good tip. Fly through. It's just meant to hold your hair in place. So you put one arm in, the other arm in, overlap the hooks, and chapeau. That's it. I got a little gel in my hair right here. So if y'all see a little crispiness, it's just my gel. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it. And so what the puff cuff does, it merely holds your hair. Okay. In place. It doesn't squeeze. So there will not be any headaches. There will not be any tension. We're saving edges one natural at a time. And, it, it's, and it's also not going to disrupt your curl patterns. So you see like right now, you know, if I had put that rubber band in my head and wore it all day, I'm going to have that ring. Right. Oh, my Even God. That's black, true. The ring. Right, the ring. The black women don't take our hair down once it's up. Once it's up, right. it's up. So you don't see us no more. But what I found out was white women or women of non-African descent, they equally hate rubber bands and, 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 all, and banana clips Leaves and all. The crease. Mm -hmm. Because it makes that crease. Mm-hmm lady come up to me and she was like oh and she was not black she was like oh i get it that eliminate the crimp and i'm like baby i don't know what the crimp is <laughs> <laughs> but when she explained it to me it was like yes but black women never take our hair down once it's wet and we, no, put we it know the deal <laughs> right so we don't know nothing about it's that a wrap. But, yes it's a wrap but with that you can even take your puff cuff out and it's not going to disturb your work. Look, look, look at this. Look at yes, yes, yes. So incredible. Puff and then I have a little one here. Yes. So you're wearing like if you want to do part of your hair, you don't want to put all of your hair up. If you want to do multiple puffs, if you want to do a fro hawk, same thing. We have puff cuffs in smaller sizes. That way, depending on how much your hair, your how much hair you're trying to gather, like I'm going to use the little. Uh, that you have a teeny i have a oh, mic oh. but that's fine that's fine yes so basically the way you decide what size puff cuff you're going to use is the size of your fist when you gather your hair so Ooh, when i put good tip that you know the it's probably about this big my you know the base of my um fist so that way i'm going to do make sense makes perfect sense and remember we're live if you're watching with us live please do send in your questions because i'm watching the comments if you have any there is one person that asked uh if this is something that can be used with dreads yes 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 it's even on the packaging mm -hmm. that was it, from noble yes. lux creative studios you can yes. use it with dreads okay yes it works with locks twists if you got your extra hair in with your your braids, your protective style, it works with that. That's why we space the teeth further apart. Mm. So that the box and everything could put could be held up, but they're not being squished. Got it. Yeah, locks, braids, twists. As long as your hair has texture and curl, it will work. If it does not have texture and curl, we have a product coming out for you soon. <gasps> Yes, for those with the sil silkier, silkier textures, the puff cuff right now will just slide right out. Ooh, but yeah. my last, you know, I actually, I, I, I'm gonna toot my own horn. I don't usually do this because it makes me feel weird. But I have four patents, and my third, four. Patent, yeah, I have four. I have two on the original puff cuff that design, and I have a third one on another puff cuff that, like I said, is for those silkier textures that the teeth are specially designed to give it a little bit of extra grip so it won't slide out because those with a little bit of wave 
or those big cylindrical curls that are mirth, they equally hate rubber bands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody mm -hmm. hates them. Yep. So this will be for them. And then yep. I have fourth patent on my um my edge brush. Snaps to you. Okay, I need one of those. That I'm still using the trial size toothbrush. <laughs> <my edges. laughs> <laughs> so I need to get one of those, but I don't want to, I don't want to skip over this, right? Cause somebody in the comments was like four patents. Wow. This is like record breaking, right? Weren't you the first black woman to have two patents in the uh, black hair accessories? Like that is a big deal in itself. Yes. So yes. everybody snaps in the comments for her or is it snaps? <laughs> Hand claps in the comments. That's incredible. <laughs> Um, somebody, okay, pump for my journey. What tip would you give someone that is starting their journey of creating their first business? Don't think you're, don't work in a silo. You are not alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're as big as your network. Talk about it. Get yourself in those different atmospheres and those, own, those entrepreneurial communities because you need people that speak your language. People that don't, are, are, first of all, this ain't for the faint of heart. This ain't, this ain't mm -hmm. no joke. <laughs> yeah. And we don't have a lot of resources of people who are doing the same thing. So when you find someone that has that business or whatever that you feel you want to gravitate towards, have that conversation with them. You'll know in the beginning if they're giving it up or not. I'm one of those. Mm -hmm. I'm totally transparent. I say it again totally transparent because people weren't transparent with me. I felt like a total fish out of water, but yeah. I had to put myself in different atmospheres, different galaxies in order to find my tribe, put it that yeah. way. Yeah. That's so good. And speaking of tribe, <laughs> you're part of the New Voices family, which is oh. an incredible tribe of black owned businesses, the lip blar, slutty vegan, black girl sunscreen, um, sweet kiwi that we just talked to. Tell, tell us a little bit about what it's been like for you to be a part of that community. Freaking amazing. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Like I was on the outside looking in for so long and I'm like, and I think this was like in the beginning, you kind of heard like a little bit of rustling of new voices and a little bit of, um, um, that whole, what, what is New Voices? What is that foundation? What is, so I had been seeing like the lip bar and, um, oh, um, Luna Magic. Oh, oh Luna Magic, yeah. Yeah, I had, um, and other, other people of the family, like, how do you get in the family? So mm -hmm. what I did was I, 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 I signed up for their newsletter. And once I signed mm -hmm. up for the newsletter, I applied for every freaking grant, <laughs> every grant they offered, even stuff that wasn't necessarily pertinent to me. I was like, I'm going to get in. I don't, I don't know what, how I am, but I'm going to get in. But what ended up happening is I ended up winning a grant between New Voices and Barefoot Wine. Amazing. Um, $10,000 grant, which was so on time, um, like two years ago. And I actually didn't realize, to be honest with you. Um, how that was going to get me into the family, that that was getting me into the new mm -hmm. voice. Mm -hmm. And then I also got a $20,000 um, Facebook ad credit from the McBride sisters. That's with a deal. Mm -hmm. So I, and you know, I'm up here like so, so starstruck because I'm like barefoot wine. Yeah. My mother-in-law drinks that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And then with the McBride sister, I was like, that is some straight black girl magic. Like, literally, you see how I did that black girl magic. Mm -hmm. So anyway, with those two things, that got me in. But as of the last two years, I've really, really can feel being in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, this was our first time participating in Essence Fest. And that had been a bucket list of mine for years, less bucket list items. And you could see that every move they make is black magic. And it's mm -hmm. very intentional. It's very mm -hmm. intentional. And once you're in, man, baby, are you in? Yeah. And it's, where have y'all been all my lives? I, I, I <laughs> this is a new thing. It's a fairly new thing. But it makes black 
wellness, not wellness, wellness and wealth mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and real. So good. It's like, right. I'm up here fangirling on everybody that was at, <laughs> <laughs> that was in the new voices family and, and at essence. And it yes. was like, I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm sitting at the table with Marie of, of New Voices, the leader of the foundation. I'm sitting at the table with Melissa Bradley, somebody who sits on the board of the foundation. I'm just like, mm -hmm. this, they are not just talking it, they are doing it and walking it. And consistently and year round, not when it's just right. a trend for right. Black Home Business Month. Right. Like others will do. It's not yeah. just uh, Black History Month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Or it's not just when, you know, someone tragically gets recorded and, and of their demise on, on television. Yeah. It is all the time. And what they say, they do. Right. That's it. I see people in the comments. What is a new voices? They are in the comments right now. It is an incredible foundation. There's mentoring. You have this incredible community um that you can kind of tap into as she mentioned the community that she and then access to the essence ecosystem you know you could be considered as being a guest on a future episode of shop essence live i did see somebody say any tips for um how to get your hair in coils because it's only like that when it's wet now you sent me go ahead some incredible yes. moves yes our moves so I was like, I didn't know you're a slay <laughs> curls too. So yes. Yes. So what we did was after we, you know, the puff cuffs were, first of all, I made the puff cuffs. I tried to make the puff cuffs a item that was an investment. In other words, I got tired of throwing away stuff that eventually didn't work or eventually broke or blah, 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 blah. So mm -hmm. the puff cuff, there's a lot of people who've had their, including myself, who've had their puff cuffs for five or six years. So yeah. we can offer it an investment. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah. plus the puff cuff has a lifetime warranty, which I picked that up from another entrepreneur brand. But I'm like, no, I'm going to do, I'm another um, brown owned black girl brand. I'm like, I'm going to do the same thing because I'd rather keep you as a customer than let you down, disappoint you in any way. So, so good. Lifetime warranty on all puff cuffs. But what we did was we decided to create a whole curly hair experience. Look at this, y'all. So we have a line of consumable products. And you know what we say to each other when your girl when your girl's hair is laid, that's what the name of the consumable products are. So smart. Laid. So we have styling products to go with the puff that complement the puff cuff. So if you want your curls on, you know, get that definition out of the shower look, we can do it. You can do it with our products. Yes, yeah, see, look, look, see? <laughs> right before the, your eyes. Right. We do the Glock method, not the lock, but the Glock. So it is a little different, but you use an oil, then you use a... Oh, so good, too. Then a gel. Ooh. And then the mousse, and then you diffuse. You know, everybody who got that big old giant thing on your hair dryer and you had no clue yep. what it was for, that is for our curls. So it'll dry your hair without messing up the curl pattern. So our edge control, tons. we have the argon gel, we have the detangling brush, everything you need for your curly hair routine and our edge master. And the our Edge Master, it's a three in one. We have silicone bristles. silicone bristles. So you can rinse that nasty crap out that we all have. Oh, I would just, I usually just throw it away and get it. <laughs> so that's great. The earth by throwing it away. You can't throw it away. You, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're completely right. I got to do better. But I'm going to get one of those. Yes. I'm yep. using my... It parts. You have the spatula. When you know how to do your edges with the spatula, it's like magic. Wait a minute. How do you do your edges with the spatula? Go look it up on YouTube. I did it the first time. Well, you take that gel. Let me see if I can do it right quick. Like a cooking spatula? Yeah. So this end right here, mm -hmm. when you see all those girls with the swoop de whoop de whoops Oh, yeah. I can't I, get that. <laughs> I, I draw the line. I do. 
A lot of times yeah. it's the spatula. It's the spatula doing that. Okay. You see? Can you see it? I can't see my... That's I... a lot of comments going. <laughs> <laughs> this is as fancy as we get. Right. But, That's but I, I just love the gel. First of all, it stays in place so beautifully, but it doesn't have like that white residue or anything on your skin that you would find yeah. at other products. And I, I won't, I won't, listen, a black girl chemist, black girl chemist made these. Oh, <gasps> black girl chemist. I know my ministry is, and I know I'm not a chemist, or, you know, I stay, I, I barely got past science in college. Like I passed it with a D and was thankful. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, black girl chemist makes these. These are so incredible. So yeah, you guys. These are pinned to Essence's store. If you go straight to the Puff Cuffs page, you can see their full range of products. Remember at Shop Essence Live, when you're shopping at this show, you are contributing directly to these companies. Nothing is going to Essence or me. This is to shop and scale these black owned businesses. And when I tell you, and you got more, and you're developing a line for people that uh, have straight hair. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and then um, we should say that we're giving 20% off today just for the Essence Live shop. We yes, hook man. you up. You know we like a good deal. <laughs> we love a good deal. And then, so that's just for today, be clear. So if you're watching live or you're watching on Thursday the 20th, um, you get, how much was it? 20% off. 20% off. Um, so make sure that you are turning these wish list things into actual purchases or you're missing out on a really, really great deal. Start to fulfill your Christmas list. All right. Don't, don't wait like everybody else. Don't be out in the streets for Black Friday. You can start to uh, fulfill on the Christmas list. I know you have some natural hair girls in your life, your curl friends, your and sisters, your mothers. It's a black girl invention, but we're not necessarily a black brand. This brand is for is all true. curly hair. Curl and it's guys too. Check out our mail site because we have PC M A L E, the PC Mail. Mm -hmm. all, all, all your uh men's is out there. We have uh puff cups for you too, cool. as well as skin and beard um products. Wow. Okay. So she's got a whole supermarket full of products <laughs> that you guys can purchase. Um, and it's really great. Like the mousse, it's just, it's so fragrant. It's like, I, I absolutely love the mousse and it's really effective and it works instantly and beautifully. So to that person earlier that asked any tips on how to keep your coils, cause it's only like that when it's wet, laid, she's Ooh. laying and slaying the curls. Um, and this incredible styling gel. So, so great. And you are so, you're such an inspiration. Um, first woman ever to have two patents for black hair accessories. And it's not just black hair, it is uh, across the board. I am so, so inspired and impressed. I'd love for you to um, just leave us with a positive note, right? You said that you had this thought and it was seven years before you took the leap what was the thing that kept you going? And I know even at that seven year mark, it wasn't easy and it just happened overnight either. So I would love to hear from you um, if there's any other aspiring entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that are watching and need a little word of encouragement, uh, what would you say to them? My word of encouragement would be, um, if God gave it to you, don't ignore his, don't ignore what he has for you. Mm. It, this is a, excuse me, a scary ass ride. It ain't no yeah. My whole family works for Puff Cup. My husband is my CEO. My children manage my warehouse, manage our, our retail oh, I love that. in Perimeter Mall. My, my 10 year old is a model. But seriously, if, if, if God has given it to you, he has ordained for you to move forward with it. Do not talk yourself out of it. None mm. of you have any money to start in the beginning. But if it's his will, it will happen. And what keeps me motivated is um, I'm doing this for my family, doing this for me and my family because I'm ready to. And I also want to be an inspiration to other small businesses. My goal is to eventually sell this company mm -hmm. for 
crazy amounts of dollars because black Hello. people do that. <laughs> now that's what it's worth. You know, rich Dennis do that. I was like, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> like him. So that's the goal. And then I want to I want to have that money to be able to help other people that are doing the same thing that just need that look like me that come from the kind of same background that just need that don't have that rich uncle that you can go borrow me dollars from but you just right. need that extra little financial push and advice that that's that's what that's my passion that is listen to this woman <laughs> follow the puff cuff um and you, you post a lot of content on that page as well make sure you go to their store where you can see the full range of products i want to remind everyone she's given us a 20 percent discount just for today right so if you're watching live if you're watching on the replay um on thursday on the 20th you have the opportunity to buy and get a 20% discount buy up she's got a full range for men and women um across probably all curl pattern textures yep. uh, and more to come. Two C to four C. Two C to four C. <laughs> so good. Well, it's been such a, such a pleasure having you on this week's show. And I cannot wait to see what is in store for the Puff Cuff. Thank you, loves. Thank you so much. My, the sun has gone down, so my little light is only doing one oh. <laughs> It's perfect timing. It's okay. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Take care, sis. Bye. Bye-bye.